I have experienced this in my own life. Mm. The adhkar is a mechanism that protects you from that entire world. Multiple experiences I have had my own life where my adhkar have protected me. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Sometimes the jinn kind, they attack human beings. These jinns, when they see the human beings are vulnerable, they attack in many different ways. That's why there are azkars, there are remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jal. When if we do so, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects us from all these jinns and shayateens. Let's listen to a story when one of the jinns attacked Yasir Qadi, the scholar who is well known all around the world. One of the simple stories, not that difficult, I had a very difficult Ruhiya session and I went home and I did adhkar on myself before going to sleep. And in the middle of the night, you know there's this state that you're not asleep and you're not awake. That's typically when the jinn's gonna come. You kind of wake up but you're not awake, okay? I could see a dark figure coming. I'm half asleep, half awake. I'm neither awake, neither asleep. You think you're asleep, but you're not. You think you're awake, you're not. It's that time. You see the dark figure coming. And I see it walking in my room clearly, even though it is pitch black. But I know it's there. I'm not seeing with my eyes. I'm seeing with my brain. And I see it. And it stops. And I know it stopped because there is a barrier because of my ruqya on myself. Because I did the adhkar. You know when you go to sleep? Yes. You blow yourself, right? I never in my life, no matter how tired I am, no matter what's happened, no matter what state I'm in, I never go to sleep without doing ruqya because I have been attacked multiple times in my life with these entities. And I have seen when I do ruqya, there is a wall. And I remember that night clearly that I did ruqya in the daytime. I think even that was the same incident that happened in front of you that time. That I did ruqya that time and I went to sleep and I did the adhkar and I blew over myself and I remember vividly that entity come coming straight towards me and then it stops and I knew it stopped because it didn't have the power to come and harm me because I had recited ikhlas and qulu allahu adhan and falaq al nas and had recited ayat al kursi and the last two verses of baqarah and I had blown over myself so it was a barrier between me and that entity so point of action always do your adhkar and always before you go to sleep blow on yourself so that inshallah ta'ala it's a barrier so my brothers and sisters do the asqars, remember Allah, read the muawidatain, read kul a'uzu bi rabbil falak, kul a'uzu bi rabbil nas, and ayatul kursi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect you from the devils, from the shayateens, and from the jinns.